Hello. In this session, I will show you how to create brackets, flanges and stiffness inside Shipworks, the shipbuilding software for SOLIDWORKS. So, first, I will create a prefabricated unit. I will include, I want to include the hull and the, and the frames. And the idea is that uh, I can have a different uh, sub-assembly to hold the parts I, I want. I will move the beams uh, inside that uh, prefabricated unit and then I add the bracket uh, afterwards. So I don't need to I don't need to to be working all the time with all the parts uh, open. I can divide it into prefabricated units. So I can select this beam and move it. Okay. I have also this beam and move it and the other one, last one, this one so I can move it also. So I have here a prefabricated unit with these beams. So I can open it now. Hide the hole. Okay. And I have here my uh, prefabricated unit. To create the brackets, I just need to go to the to this command brackets and knee plates. Specify one of the one of the favorites, okay, or no favorite, and uh, I just specify the dimensions I I want. But I want to create one uh, based in this in this favorite but the dimension will be 350 and these vertical beams will be this one and this one the horizontal beam this one 80 millimeters on the B dimension and 350 again 80 millimeters and I want the bracket to be perpendicular to this horizontal beam okay material and that's it This will create the two brackets for me. Once again, all the naming conventions will be uh, will be applied. All the naming conventions defined in the Shipworks Manager will be applied. Okay. Uh, one thing that uh, I did not mention yet is that the colors. Um, every material has a color that we defined in the in the Shipworks Manager, and uh, by this reason, just looking at the uh, looking at my my block or my ship, I can have an idea of the materials that have been applied. So these these plates with uh, five millimeter thickness are yellow. The beams are blue, and and uh, so on. So here I have my my plates. Of course, every part has properties properties have been created so if I go to the properties I have the dimensions of the plate I have all the information regarding the, the plate okay and I can create other kinds of, um, of brackets okay I have these types this type this type and this type of brackets. Okay, so let's create other kind of of brackets. Let me just uh, save this and go back to the to the deck to the block. Okay, so as I was uh, telling you, looking at the colors, I can have an idea of the different uh, parts and the different thicknesses of my of my plates. So, before we create uh, more brackets, let's create some stiffeners here in this, in this bulkhead. Before doing that, I will create a new assembly, a prefabricated unit, including the hull and the frames. Okay. It's easier to create these uh, divisions and this structure in the, in the assembly. It's easier to, <coughs> to manage it uh, later on. So I will open this prefabricated unit. I will hide the hole. Okay. And now I will create here the, the stiffeners. So 
transversal bulkhead stiffeners here in this bulkhead. I can specify the offsets on the top and on the bottom, the number of stiffeners and the distance of each stiffener to the to the, the midship at the center of the ship center line. So uh, I must specify the um, the beam I want to use, let's say an L beam, 100 per 10. Okay. And with this, just I do OK, and uh, Shipworks will start creating me the, the stiffness. So all the stiffeners uh, have been uh, created, only one left. All the sketches have full dimensions, so they are always fully defined. So I have all the stiffeners, they are all correctly orientated, okay, oriented. So if I go to the to this block assembly, okay, now I have here my my stiffeners. So to create these brackets now here on the top, I just have to to go to the, com the bracket command again, specify the beams where I want the brackets on, the kind of, of bracket I want, the dimensions, okay, the surface, this green surface here, and well, that's it. Shipworks will create these two brackets uh, for me. These are very time-consuming tasks to do using SOLIDWORKS alone and uh, with uh, Shipworks all the, there is a, a, a big improvement in, in performance and productivity. Okay. So I have this bracket uh, here, okay. they are done. I will now create a, a flange. Okay like these green ones here, so um, to create a flange I just go to, to the flange functionality specify the edges where I want the, the flange to be to be applied okay. I may specify an end point and on that end point the offset I want and the end cut I want okay, once again from the favorites defined in the, in the manager the second endpoint, the offset, and the favorite I want, and the thickness. I only have one flange, so I have to sp specify that one. I cannot specify other one. So it's a flange with a hundred millimeters uh, width and a five millimeters thickness. Okay. So once again, the sketches are being dimensioned. and the flange um, is being created. Okay.
Once again, all the information regarding these these parts are being uh, kept in the um, in the properties. So, okay. if I open here this this new part that was created, okay, this new flange, okay, and you can check here the the end cuts they were created. I can easily change this into a sheet metal part. Okay, and flatten using SolidWorks uh, functionality. Okay, and uh, uh, if I go to the properties, I have the length, the width, the thickness. So it was calculated prior the um, the sheet metal uh, transformation. So so even if you do not uh, change this into sheet metal part, it will create the the length of the sheet uh, metal also. Okay, so. Now I can um, also create a, a new assembly saying this is a prefabricated unit. I don't need the hole and I don't need the frames. So this is another way of doing that. Uh, after creating the geometry, I can move the parts into this prefabricated unit. So I just pick the, the part, okay, this one, and I move it so this prefabricated unit and this one also can be moved in this prefabricated unit. So now I have this prefabricated unit with the plates uh, and, the, and the flange. Okay. So. And that's about it, about uh, brackets, uh, stiffeners and uh, flanges. Um, we'll now move on into, into another uh, section of these presentations about uh, drawings. Bye-bye.